Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look and we'll have a series of videos on this. I've been asked by a lot of people to kind of explain some of the things to do to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10. So of course Windows 7 has only about 10 months left uh, of uh, support. It will end in January of 2020 there's the different things that you guys might want to do of course and there's different things that um, you might want to um, prepare yourself because going from Windows 7 to Windows 10 is a, a major update to your system and there's quite a few things that you'll need to understand so in this first part um, I think it's the preparation phase to Windows 10 do you have your Windows 7 disk? Why? Because you might need it just in case something goes wrong you can at least reinstall Windows 7 on your machine. Do you have the recovery disks of your uh, machine or tablet? If not there possibly and probably is a method to either create the recovery disks um, a, very, a lot of machines have that if you don't have them because a lot of machines didn't have any disks at the end but they had a procedure where you could actually create those so I'll need to check out can you create those with a tool that's provided by your um, manufacturer the second thing is that what you need to know is that you can still upgrade for free for now so using a Windows 7 key that you might have will help you upgrade to Windows 10 for free still as of uh, March 1st 2019 it still works so that's very important so preparation phase also includes backing up every file that you have all the important stuff make sure that you actually have these files on an external hard drive on a USB thumb drive maybe in the cloud because you never know what can happen and you might lose files in the process of upgrading from Windows 7 to Windows 10. So that's another thing to uh, check out. The other thing to check out is what are the software do you use? And go on the internet to check out are they compatible with Windows 10? Will you be losing one of your favorite pieces of software over the upgrade? It's very important to check that out because if one piece of software, if something you use, maybe even a device you use, isn't compatible with Windows 10 and it's an absolute necessity, then you kind of understand that moving to Windows 10 might not be a good idea and that maybe you can actually um, still wait or, or see what you know is going to happen. But there are people that will be stuck to Windows 7 because of a device. Maybe one of the ideas behind this, if you need Windows 7 and um, absolutely, but would like to also upgrade to Windows 10, you could do something that's called a dual boot system. That means when you boot your machine, it will ask you, do you want to go to Windows 7 or Windows 10? That's an interesting idea for people that aren't sure exactly how Windows 10 will behave on their computers. And of course, you can have the help of some tech guy for this if you don't know to do it yourself. Um, that could be a very good idea for a lot of people that want to upgrade. And of course, you got to check your computer. Is your computer compatible with Windows 10? Um, you know, if it's less than five years old, it is compatible. Compatible, pretty sure. Any computers that were made roughly after 2014, I would say are capable of Windows 10 for the most part without any problems. Yet, if you, your PC is older than five years old, now you've got to start asking questions if you really want to upgrade because there could be cases where there's some hardware driver that's not there. Uh, there could be cases of, um, you know, your PC not running right with Windows 10. I've got a 10-year-old PC here that actually runs Windows 10, which is kind of interesting but it's not the case for every old machine and 
if you have a machine older than five years, maybe it's a question you can ask yourself. Um, should I upgrade to Windows 10 or maybe should I get a new machine or tablet? That's also something to consider and be important. So uh, these are the first ideas and the first steps that I have to give for anybody that wants to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Then we'll actually have more videos going to show you how to create a Windows 10 um, boot disk or um, you know re in, in, in recovery if you want. We'll actually show you the things that are important to make sure that your uh, progression towards Windows 10 goes as smoothly as possible also and um, you know it's possible to upgrade Windows 7 to Windows 10 through an upgrade process. My general um, idea behind this is that you rather and should do a clean install rather than upgrade from the Windows 7 operating system because any glitches and any problems that could be in Windows 10 or Windows 7 already on your system might be actually moved to Windows 10 and then you'll have a unstable system or a system that has some problems and it's because of the upgrade process the way that you actually upgraded your machine if you enjoy our videos please subscribe and of course more videos coming up on the Windows 7 to Windows 10 upgrade process